So um, as we have been doing for the, the past while, when we've been able to have in-person services, uh, the offering uh, you can give either by putting it in the box at the back uh, or there will be like a collection plate back there. Randy, can you get a collection plate for the back? Awesome. Okay. Randy will get a collection plate for the back, um, so you could dump it in the collection plate there, or of course there's always the option to do electronic funds transfer or uh, old-fashioned checks should you desire to do that uh, as well. That's, that's fine. Uh, you can even do cash, I think. But uh, yes, uh, our offering today is for denominational ministry shares, denominational ministry shares is uh, the, the opportunity that we have to pool all of our resources as churches throughout the denomination in Canada and the United States and uh, use that big pool of resources to do ministry in tons of different contexts. Uh, everything from publishing uh, Sunday school curriculum to uh, sponsoring Christian colleges and universities to uh, helping church plant uh, here, there, and everywhere, all, all kinds of amazing and wonderful things. So that's the offering for today. Also, in, <clears throat> in terms of pastoral care uh, sort of things, uh, first of all, we want to uh, recognize that Jeanette is here and she has finished her physiotherapy and it went very, very well. And so we praise God for that. She's walking around really well. So that's great. Uh, yeah, praise God for that. Uh, any kind of physiotherapy tends to be a pretty long uh, journey, and so it's good to come through uh, that. Also, um, Lord willing, on July the 24th, uh, I will be going out to John and Belinda's home to do a baptism uh, of their little Aiden. And I don't know how many of you have been following along with his story, but he has, uh, he has struggled um, to gain weight and uh, to keep his food down for a long time, uh, but he is doing quite a bit better on that. So we praise God for that. And also, of course, uh, we praise God for the opportunity to uh, officially welcome him into the covenant family uh, through uh, baptism. So you'll be able to see that um, as sort of a video when whenever I get that ready after the 24th, of course, uh, unless you're attending in person, which will be up to them. So, um, and then uh, last but certainly not least in terms of uh, updating you on pastoral things, um, Lila, who is uh, Pete and Jenny's granddaughter, Karen and John's daughter, of course, um, she has been having, uh, yeah, unexplained and recurring fever for the past um, week and a half or so, something like that. Um, and she was into Kingston General, and then she came out, and and now, uh, and she recently went to Chio, um, and they did some blood work and stuff, and they don't have results from that yet. She is home again, and she's doing okay. But please pray that uh, doctors uh, will, will be able to figure out what is going on and that they will be able to, um, yeah, they will be able to help her uh, and or that her own body's processes will defeat whatever it is and that she can carry on as the wonderful little girl that she is. So let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we pray that you will uh, bless us during this time together. Lord, we thank you that you already have blessed us during this time together. Father, we pray that you will uh, not only bless us in the sense of being able to see one another, but also that you will bless us with whatever your spirit would teach us today. May you open our hearts and minds so that we may hear uh, your word in the scriptures and in the message and uh, in the songs that we sing, in the prayers that we give as well. And may all of it be a pleasing aroma to you. We pray that as well for the offering today for denominational ministry shares. Lord, may those ministry shares go 
to serve the gospel, to serve you, and to grow the kingdom of God here on earth, O oh Lord. We thank you for the, the awesome and humbling opportunity to be your witnesses here and throughout the world. Lord, we pray this morning that you will be with Kyla, or Lila, excuse me, uh, that you will be with Lila and that you will bless her and strengthen her. Lord, that you will bless the doctors and, and nurses and other healthcare professionals as they look into her situation. Lord, uh, may, uh, yeah, may you give Karen and John uh, strong assurance and, and be with Pete and Jenny and all the rest of the family too as they worry about this little one. Lord, we pray as well that you will be with John and Belinda and Aiden and the rest of the family there too. Lord, we pray that, uh, that you will continue to strengthen and grow Aiden uh, in spite of whatever has been causing him to have difficulties uh, keeping down that food. Lord, we pray too that his time of baptism will be truly a blessing to all who see it. Lord, we thank you so much that uh, Jeanette has come through her physio and, and that she is uh, walking so well. Lord, we, we praise you for that. Lord, we pray too that you will, be, uh, that you will continue to be with Hank and with uh, the whole family, O oh God, as they continue to grieve uh, Hank's brother's passing uh, this past uh, this past while. Oh God, would you please comfort and strengthen there? Would you be especially with Art's widow, wife? Lord, would you guide her and strengthen her as well? Would you comfort all of those who mourn, oh God? Thank you that in your scriptures, in your Beatitudes, Jesus, you say, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Lord, may that be true, not only in the hereafter where all tears are wiped away, but may we also receive your comfort in this world too. Lord, we pray that be, you will be with all of those who are struggling in other ways, whether it be with mental or emotional or physical health concerns, or whether it be with uh, realities around them in everyday life, or whether it be with temptation, whatever it may be that people are struggling with, Lord, we pray your blessing and we ask for your mercy and for your guidance, for your healing and forgiveness. We pray this all. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.